Hey everybody, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what the single plane golf swing is. And so we're gonna give a brief intro of what the single plane golf swing is and how I found it. So, my name's Brady, I'm with Golf Ascending. Tyson's here with me, he's filming right now. Um, but I recently found a podcast uh, called The Local Guide from Golf Digest. And they did a podcast called The Golf Savant, The Life and Career of Mo Norman. And what caught me, um, what got me interested in this podcast and in Mo Norman is that there was a quote that said, that was from Tiger Woods where he said, there's only been two people who have truly owned their golf swing and that's Ben Hogan, I'm a big fan, and Mo Norman. So to me, that was a big deal. So I wanted to look into him. I looked into his life, watched, listened to the podcast, watched videos on him and i think he's awesome he was an awesome guy an awesome golfer and he did own his golf swing he was amazing and he is known as one of the best golf or ball strikers of all time and he claims that his way of swinging which is the single plane golf swing that he figured out on his own is the most correct way to swing a golf club and the most simplest way too and so for me what piqued my interest was that it's simple, that it's the correct way. And the another thing that piqued my interest is that as I was doing more research, I saw videos from Todd Graves. He basically made Mo Norman his mentor and he learned everything about the swing. And he now teaches it today. He has a golf channel, a YouTube channel called Golf Graves Academy. And um, he basically convinced me that it is the, a good way to swing and a consistent way and so I ended up buying his book. I can show you the book and I'm gonna start this single plane golf swing journey and I'm actually doing a vlog showing how my experience is throughout um, switching from a standard golf swing or a typical golf swing to the single plane. Um, anyways, for me, the big thing was I've looked up so many different tips and so many different ways to improve my golf swing but I've always just seen inconsistency. I could have great scores and then one day look like I can't swing at all. So that's why I started single plane golf swing. So I want to introduce you if you've thought about looking into it, kind of the main elements of the swing. I'm not going to teach everything about it. Again, you can go to Golf Grades Academy and check out some of uh, Todd's videos or get the book if you really want to commit to that swing. But I want to show you some of the differences of the swing. And right here, I bought this from Golf Graves Academy. It is an alignment tool. So the alignment is quite different in the single plane. So I have this as a training aid to help with alignment. So some of the main differences of the single plane golf swing is the single plane. Your wrist is bent like this, not like this, like a typical golf swing with your hands hanging low, but it's bent like this. And then your right arm is below this one but both are matching up with the club. Another main element that's a little different about the single plane golf swing is that your legs aren't bent as much. They're fairly straight. And when you swing through, you turn your left, your lead leg, and you keep, through impact, both feet down, and then lift up after impact, about right here. Um, the setup of the single plane golf swing is probably the most unique thing, um, and this is the way Mo Norman taught. As you might have seen, Bryson DeChambeau, who recently won the US Open, he does a single plane golf swing. It's not exactly like Mo Norman, but the science, everything about it is basically the same. Um, but you have a pretty wide stance with the single plane golf swing, and you start the club pretty far behind the actual ball, and the club points to the inside of your shoulder here and then you lean about as far as my right hand to my trail knee, about this much, so it's a lot more lean than a standard golf swing. You're down here, so it looks kind of funny. The setup does look funny and the swing itself, but I like the science behind it and how it works. And then you have your straight arm, straight wrists, and then from there, it's again the single plane, but similar to a regular swing, Step through impact again your legs are still on the ground and you turn that left knee and then Mo Norman likes to do this after his swing is kind of a kind of an interesting swing there but anyways that's kind of a brief introduction to 
the single plane golf swing, again, there's a lot more to it with where your arm should be, your legs, your weight, your balance. There's a lot more to it, but that's kind of an introduction to it and um, an introduction to Mo Norman. I, if you're looking for more consistency or you're just wanting to try something different, I highly advise looking into it. Tyson advised that I don't. <laughs> it is very different and um, it does look silly when you're first trying it out, but make sure again to check out our, my vlog where I talk about my experience right now. I've been doing it for about 15 days, at least of practice, and I've seen a lot of progress. Other times it's been pretty bad, but overall I'm committed to it and I'm actually gonna switch to the Cobra one length irons, which will be coming in the mail soon. That's what Bryson DeChambeau uses, so we'll see how that goes. But make sure to comment below if you're thinking about trying the single plane golf swing. And if you have, what have you learned? Is it the better golf swing? Do you feel like you're more consistent? Um, I'd love to hear it. And again, thanks for watching. Again, Brady Crump with Golf Ascending. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like this video, and thanks for watching.